Hello guys, I've got a quick NIOS Alpha update for you, showing the first iteration of the new file browser called Fractus, with improved asset import features and new ability to export objects out of NIOS. Fractus is NIOS's new default file browser, with some principles designed to leverage VR better. As you can see, Fractus will utilize the free area to display their inner structure of folders, so you can quickly jump several levels down with a simple double tap. It has traditional path bar at the bottom for quick upwards navigation like traditional browsers. You can open new independent browser by hovering above desired folder, holding the grab button, pulling a folder reference out and pressing open explorer. Similarly, if you pull out a file or folder reference, you can drop it above another folder, which will give you options to copy or move to that target. You can create new folders by dragging the new folder item above the desired folder, releasing and fill out a folder name. Conversely, you can pull a reference to a file or folder, put it in the red bin and press delete to delete that item from your file system. File references have an, an extra option, which lets you import that file as a 3D object into NEOS. Simply pull out all of the files you wish to import, Switch to the desired target word and press import here, which will bring the usual import options for that item. News now also supports importing several CAD formats, like the step files using the FreeCAD software. Simply install FreeCAD from its official website on your computer and NEOS will automatically pick it up when you try to import those files. Similarly, when NEOS detects Blender installed on your system, it will use it for importing blend files for better compatibility. Through Fractus, you can now also export objects from NEOS. Simply grab the object you want to export, bring it on an open Fractus window and drop it over the desired folder. This will offer you export options like the file format and file name. This way you can export any object from within NEOS as a 3D model for use with your own software. For certain items, for example the 360 virtual photos captured with a virtual camera in Squarespace, NEOS will intelligently offer you to export it as a traditional image file that can be used in other software and 360 viewers. The rest of the updates in this release are mostly architecture. There are major performance improvements when instantiating new objects and components and various bug fixes. All these new features are available in the new NEOS Alpha 0.5.1 that you can get on the official website. Keep in mind that this software is still in alpha stage and many of the features are incomplete and lack proper visuals, but we'll hope you'll have fun toying with them anyway. Thanks for your time and see you at the next update.